Hello, hello. Music's nice. Just checking my v like my sound real quick. Yeah, okay, all good. Hello everyone. Where are you joining from? What time is it for you? I am right now in Niagara Falls, Canada side. The best side. Um, it is 10:30 a.m. Eastern time. And last stream I said that was the last stream on any point code builder, but hear me out. I started playing with it because I the main thing <laughs> why I was not using ACV was because I cannot use any local projects, right? Or not that easily because at the end of the day, ACV is a Docker container, as I understand it. Um, so you are not connecting to your local, you are connecting to Docker. So as Docker works, it's a container somewhere else. It's not in your local. So unless I have ACV installed in my Visual Studio Code locally, I'm not able to open my local projects, which is my main stop for not using ACV. But I discovered that I can just copy or like clone a GitHub repo into it. And that way I can modify stuff. Now, I didn't get too far as to actually deploying stuff because I wanted to try it out with you all, but that's what we're going to do today. And also, I started taking a look at some beautiful themes of Visual Studio Code, and I am so excited. I want to show you all that. I deleted my previous ACV um, instance that I had because I kind of want to just get started with a new one don't worry it's already started like i'm not gonna make you wait <laughs> for it to start but it's there and i am gonna show you what i have been discovering in the meantime i don't see anyone in the comments so i'm just gonna go ahead and read our latest followers so i remember reading marco trova then we have Geno Kiel, 2007. I think I remember reading that. Then we have Shit and Alvaro, 2K7. Thank you all for following. And also, Alva is live right now, I think. So, awesome. If you want to read, read. Why did I say read? If you want to learn more about Salesforce, you can go and watch Alva. Awesome. Well, there's that. And now... I'm gonna get started. So basically, you go into your AnyPoint platform account, and then you go into Code Builder, which is in beta, and you can click on Launch Web IDE or like create a new one, then launch it, and so on. And as you can see, the Code Builder desktop is not yet enabled. It will be coming soon, as we have been talking about for the last weeks or month. But I have my instance ready. Now, as we saw with Ben, <laughs> your theme. Hey, Shiam. Nice to see you here. Thank you for following us. I really appreciate it. So the first thing was to like choose your theme. This is a theme that I normally have in Visual Studio Code, like in the regular Visual Studio Code, but I'm like, nah. And then I think Ben chose this one, or Manic, or someone, I don't remember who. And then the, there's this light high contrast. But I'm not too into any of that. So I'm going to leave the dark for now. And then I'm going to go to extensions and look for theme. Oh, shoot. Hold on. And start casting. Okay. And you see my... Yes, okay, cool. So I looked for theme, let me zoom in a little bit more. I looked for theme right here on the extensions button, this one. And then you can get a bunch of different themes that someone created. So this was so cool. For example, there's this one, Wildberries. And you can see here like a kind of preview 
of what it looks like. I thought it was awesome, but I don't know, something about this sidebar didn't go fully with my personality <laughs> or whatever. But the Dracula one looks so cool. So I'm gonna click install and then you can choose from Dracula, Dracula Soft. I don't know. Oh, it changed here. Okay, no, I like Dracula more. Oh, it didn't change. Oh yeah, it changed. I don't know. Well, I like that more. So now look, if I, how do I go back? <laughs> ah, oh, I already closed the welcome screen, I think. Oh, well, whatever. Well, there's the Dracula. Um, material theme icons. I think this is just for the material theme, which is this one. I don't see. Oh, this is just for the editor. Chalice color schemes. Eh, that's too simple. I want something purple. But I don't know. Oh, winter is coming theme. Oh, that's blue. That looks cool. But I think I like Dracula more. Let me try it. Oh my god, it looks awesome. Okay, dark blue. Let's try dark blue, no italics. I don't see the difference. Um, winter is coming light. Nah, that's too boring. Uh, winter is coming light, uh, no, dark black. Nah, that's also too boring. Okay, dark blue is beautiful. I love it. Okay. Um... So this is kind of a chill stream. <laughs> I'm just gonna take my time and do stuff. I'm not gonna jump right into what I can do with it. Ooh. Okay, let's try that one. Oh my god, this is beautiful. Wow. Oh, wow. I love this. But again, I want something purple. Is there something purple? Doki team theme. Anime characters. Let's see. Oh, wow. Okay. So there are a bunch of these. Wow. So like, if you're really into anime, you can try these ones. I don't even think I know any of these. Wow. Let's see this one. How can I? Okay. Um, eh, that also looks meh. Nightingale. Mm. I am so choosing them because of their icons. <laughs> That's awful, but I'm doing it. I want something purple. Like kind of this pink one, but purple. If not, I'm gonna stick to the other blue one. I cannot see. Let me try it. I mean, that is purple. Soft text. Uh, out of dark. Out of soft dark. Mm. But it's purple with green. That's weird. Okay, let me try just one more <laughs> and then I can focus on, on what I was trying to do. GitHub theme. Uh, that's just gonna be like GitHub, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Iceberg. Or something rainbow. I would also like something rainbow. Is there something rainbow? Nah. Ooh. Hmm. Not sure if I'm gonna like it. 
But I don't see anything more purple. Ooh, Spotify. I like green too. Ooh. Okay, let's try Spotify theme. Soft or normal? Let's try soft. Okay, I like it, I like it. Let's leave that one. All right, so I guess let's just leave that. <laughs> you have a bunch of themes now. All right, so let's get into it now. Um, So here I have my GitHub repo. Um, Which one should I open? Hmm. I can try opening the mule battle snake. I think it's the one that has more things. Well, more real things anyway. Okay. So, um, copy. And then if I go to the terminal, how do I show the terminal? Like this, terminal. No, like this, I think. Yeah. Okay. I'm in the terminal. So as you can see, this is kind of like a Docker container, right? And you can also see the URL is kind of like a Docker container. So I'm going to do git clone. But, oh, allow. So now I cloned it. So now if I do oops, ls, I can see that I have my new new Battlesnake um, repo that has been copied. So now I can do cd new Battlesnake. Now I'm inside my repo. So now I can see that I have all of the things that I had before. So now I can open folder. And now I will be able to see the Mule Battlesnake folder that I just cloned. So just like that. Yes, I thrust the authors. I'm not liking this one anymore because it doesn't go with the blue. I don't know why there are some blue. Hold on. <laughs> Hold a moment winter is coming and then i want a dark blue no it it italics okay let's do that one yeah it looks better okay and then there was a change to settings.json i don't know what this is false exclude i think this is just for vs code Yeah, I'm gonna put that in my git ignore. Where in the world is my git ignore? Huh. Wait. I read something about that. So if I go to manage and then settings. Or I can also use what? Um, um, command comma. Okay. And then something about showing hidden files. Hidden file. No. Mm. Ha. How was it? I remember reading something about it. Uh, let's see. How to show the git ignore file in VS Code. Ah, here, I remember reading it somewhere. So, ah, use ignored files. That was the setting that I was looking for. So, use ignore files. Uh, why are you not showing it though? Hmm. 
Mm-hmm. What? Search in files. Uh, oh. This is not currently possible in VS Code. What? Is that true? Because I remember kind of seeing it. Was I blind? I don't know. Hmm. Preferences, settings, uncheck, search, use, ignore files, then it works. That's, it's, a, it's not working for me though. Huh. That is so interesting. What if I search for it? Dot git ignore. No. Oh, wait, is that the file that was just created? Settings.json. Yeah. Um, like that? No. What is happening? Oh my god, that is like the simplest thing. Okay, can I discard changes then? Yeah, delete. delete. Okay, there you go. Oh wait, no, I just got the dog mule. Damn it. How in the world? And this is nothing to do with the ACB. This is related to VS Code. That is so annoying. Okay, Control Shift P, open the type in add git ignoring the command palette. Okay. Oops. Add git no git ig. It's not letting me. Okay, this is depth-to. Type in add git ignoring the command palette, but that's not true. When was this written? 2022. Well, it should work. That, that's not true. Okay, last one and then I'm gonna give up. File, new file, uh, but I already have it. No, I just want to show it. Oh my God, okay. What if I'm missing an extension? GitHub. Integrates GitHub and its workflows into VS Code. Let's try it. Settings, no settings found. Okay, did it change anything? It didn't. Finding folder, git ignore. Oh my God. Exclusions, exclusions, or oh, exclude. Files exclude. Let's remove git. Did that show it? No. <laughs> well, but it did something. So maybe I am in the right place. Uh, hmm. 
Files exclude. Exclude git ignore. Ah, there you go. But I don't understand why it has to be. Okay, now I'm gonna question it and I'm gonna re add the other thing. Where is it? So I'm gonna add this one, but I'm gonna remove this one. Okay, save. Okay, it's there. Well, that was so unnecessarily hard. I'm gonna create an article about this because this sucks. Okay. And probably we can just put this setting in ACV so this is like added there automatically. But I don't understand why it says control whether entries in Git or should be parsed and excluded from the explorer. I don't I don't know. Well, whatever. Here is my Git ignore. I don't even remember why I wanted this in the first place. Oh well. <laughs> Let's just and now I have the GitHub. Oh no. Yeah, that, that was the one that I wanted. Okay, whatever, I have the git ignore now. Moving on, <laughs> I don't even remember why I wanted it in the first place, but okay. Let's open the Battlesnake API that Genius Manic created for all of us. I guess it's parsing. Yes. Here you go. Okay, so this is the main one. Can I zoom out and zoom in? I cannot. I cannot move to this side. Oh well. What is this? Oh, sweet. And now I can zoom in. Okay. So error handlers, we have error. Ah, okay. Why can I not move to the sides with my pad? I can only do it with the click. Let me add that. Well, what is it? GitHub, github.com, force, uh, try ACV issues okay so i'm gonna put it eventually bug report feature general feedback general feedback i guess um move the canvas with the touch pad as the mouse i guess i'm gonna do it eventually i'm just adding it here so i don't forget Anyway, if you have any feedback, go to github.com, force.com, try ACV feedback and put your stuff. Again, I'm not gonna send it right now because I'm gonna fill this up and I don't want to do it right now. Because I want to keep trying stuff. All right, there's that. Let me make this bigger for you. Uh, now, So there's a router here. Oh, the API key router. And I think this all was already created. And then get battle snake. And this is the transform that is creating the stuff. Yeah, for the configuration of the battle snake and then the start, which only has logger saying start game and the logger and then move. And this is where we have the logic move game message payload. Mm hmm that's it and then the final end so end game and the logger 
Sweet. So let me go into this transform. So remember how we were kind of wondering how to create external resources for the transform message. So now you can see it here. In the set payload, you can just set resource equals and then the link, which is dw slash movesnake dot dwl, basically. So now if I go, what is this? Okay, so that is for the git ignore. Um, VS code? Is there a VS code? No. Okay. Let's do ACV specific. Dot tooling project. Safe. Sweet. Should I leave the settings.json? Yeah. That way I don't have to keep doing that over and over again. Okay. All right, so... Oh, yeah, 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 that, uh, no. Resources, um, DW, move snake. So here's the thing. But then the other sad thing about this is that I cannot do a preview. Like I can't, like in VS Code, I can generate a preview from here, but I can't do it here. Um, and then, oh, I have a comment, sorry. Hi, Satish. What did Anna do? I remember having Anna and she did something. Maybe I have to be in the flow. Uh, move, transform. No, it's not doing anything. What is this button? What did I do? What? Show mule graphical mode. Oh, if I close this, I can click here and it will show it. And if I close this, I can click here and it will show the code. Okay, nice. Anyway, I cannot modify the code. And then if I click here, will it show me this flow? Nope. Uh, no, it doesn't show me the flow. What if I select it like this? Nope. All right. Um. So anyway, I have this thing, but I can't do absolutely anything about it. I cannot see a preview. Refactor, share, cut. Nope. There's nothing I can do. Anyway, how does the YAML file look like? As it does. Now let's look at the tests because I have some M units already. I kind of want to see, oh, and I put a, an image because I was going to forget what the case was for. <laughs> I am a genius. Okay, let's see how this looks like. So I have the soft flow Battlesnake scenarios because I'm just kind of referencing to the move flow. And then I have the different tests. So I have one test for looking into the future. Oh, the units aren't already yet, looks like. Yeah, the units are not ready yet. Well, I didn't know that. Yeah, that's all right. 
I'm sure it will come. Next week is TDX and we will not have any live streams next week, like technical live streams with me next week, because we will be just focused on TDX, but there will be some awesome announcements there. So if you are there, I highly recommend you look for um, Simone and what Simone is gonna talk about um, ACB. So, all right, the M units are not ready to be shown yet. That's totally fine. I don't know why is this red, but okay. We have the palm normal the readme yeah it looks normal can i see the readme oh i can yeah just like in vs code awesome um what else i have the maven settings i have the github build didn't i just install oh yeah Oh, wait, what is this? API console? Is this MuleSoft or is this VS Code? I don't know. I just installed something about GitHub. Integrates GitHub and its workflows into VS Code. No, I think this is not for that. Create pull request. Set up personal access token. Oh, that's nice. Wait, accounts. Oh, I'm not signed into any account. Sign in with any point platform. Yes. This is so weird. Why do I have to keep signing in? Wait. <laughs> uh, no, where? You. Try ACB feedback. Um, issues. New issue. So is this a bug report? A feature request? I guess it's general feedback again. I should already be signed in to any point platform when accessing ACB online. And again, I'm going to put it in a bit, but for now, I'm going to leave it there so I don't forget. So, all right, I am signed in. What is that for? Ah, for this. This changed, I think. Maybe it didn't. That's fine. Uh, and then what else can I do? So these are the ones that are already installed. Develop new applications. Set file icon theme. What is this? New extension. Okay. I don't know what that is. Already installed. Already installed. Yeah. Okay, all of this is already installed. Is, are there more? Any point code builder? No, there are not anymore. That's fine. Okay. All right, so my next question is, I don't know if you've been following my Battlesnake stuff, but if I go here, I have my regular Maxine that is running in the cloud and my local Maxine that I have been running with Angrock so far, but it would be awesome if I can just do it from ACB and keep it open all the time. So that way I don't have to run Angrock. Maybe this is faster. So let's see. Sorry. Uh, let's click on run and debug. But I don't know what this is. <laughs> Wait, do I have to keep this open, perhaps? New. Wait, was this mule already here? Did this was this icon already here before? I don't know. Okay. 
Let's just run in debug. To customize run and debug, create a launch.json file. Show all automatic debug. Let's just click on run and debug. Okay, yeah, it's just running. So I remember Akshara was doing something with Thunder Client, right? Hmm. So how would I be able to run this from outside of this Docker? That is a question. Let me see if there's something in the docs. So docs.mulesoft.com slash any point code builder user guide. Okay, so develop an integration, create, create, connect, use, ah, debug. Okay. Getting to know the debugger. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is this done? Yeah, okay. Your application running on port 8081 is available. Sweet. This is deployed. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay. Um, how do I call it? Add logger and set variables. Yeah, 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 yeah. Add breakpoints. Run. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, make a get request to this thing. Okay, and I guess this is where Akshara had to use Thunder Client. See, ping a locally deployed mule app. For more, for more information on how to send requests to your application. Okay, yeah, that's what I want. Oh, using a browser. Okay, I can do that then. So HTTPS, web ID, blah, blah, blah. Manage your web ID instance to ensure that you're using the correct instance URL. All right. So let me try doing it from here. Uh, and here is API. And this is my instance. Oh, yeah, this is just gonna suck. Buildercode.com. I have London, buildercode.com. Oh, proxy 8081 instead of... Oh, I have a double slash. No, still no. What about proxy? Ah, it works. Beautiful. So... The name of my instance, builder.com, and then proxy 8081, which is the port that I'm using, and then slash API, which is my URL. So now I can use this to run local Maxine. Let's see. I do this, click save. What? Your snake does not support version one of the Battlesnake API? What does that mean? Unknown API version. Oh no, is it because I changed? Because I did some changes to the code. Hold on. I changed <laughs> the version in the POM here. Is that, the, is that why I had 03? I thought this is mine, isn't it? 
I'm confused. Okay, let's save. And it's not... Oh yeah, there was a way to restart, right? Restart. We will restart, okay. I want to see the graphical view. I just want to see the DW. Okay, it's running now. I think. No, not yet. You know what? I'm gonna do a curl instead of, whoops, using the browser. So I can just put it here in the terminal. If I click here on plus, yeah, it's gonna open a new terminal here. I can run, oh, no such file or directory. Oh, sorry, curl, not found. Interesting, but if I do it here, it works. Is it because I'm inside? Wait, what is it? Ah, uh, fine. All right, I'm not gonna question it. So this is working now. I still have the same URL, save. No, your snake does not support. Your snake does not support version one of the Battlesnake API. What does that even mean? Um, oops. Mm. Well, it doesn't say anything. What did I do? I mean, Maxine the mule has the same code and she is working. So there shouldn't be a reason why this is not working. Okay, so let me undo the change I did to the pom. Discard. Where can I move this thing? Can I move it anywhere? No, just on the top. Oh, well, that's fine. Ha! Huh. What in the world did I change? I didn't change anything. Is it this API version? Uh, what if I put here one? Will that work? Maybe something with the URL, something like missing slash API. No, it does have it. Let me um, restart once more. Let me just, yeah, it does have slash API and it is working from the browser. Oh, well, right now I'm redeploying, but it was working from the browser. It's just not working from Battlesnake. Let's see. Okay, deployed. So from the browser, yeah, it's working. Oh, it didn't update the property. Interesting. Anyway, let's try again. Save. No, okay. So let me stop it then. Did the old Maxime also had API? Yeah, it did. 
Uh, Randy Bob. Why do you keep asking me this? Do I need a configuration here? Where is my... Configure the headers to send the necessary cookies that you copied earlier when pinging that URL and put code build the triggers and you'll flow. Hmm. Well, here it says debug me all API. Your application is first packaged and then Hello, Whitney. Oops. Hello, Whitney. <laughs> How are you? I'm trying any point code builder, finally. Um, but I'm getting stuck. Okay. It's supposed to be deployed now. Okay. It returns version 100 now. Let me see if that makes any difference. No. That doesn't make any sense. Okay. Let me wait. Battle snakes. Save. No. Ping. Nope. Unknown API version. That is so weird. It works here. Is it because I'm missing the cookies? What if I try in incognito? Ah, it doesn't work in incognito. So it works because I am signed in. Ah. And then what was the thing that Akshara was? Uh, Thunder client, right? Thunder client. Oh, it's not an extension. Oh, <laughs> damn it. Well, how? Do I run this then? Mm, well, it's supposed to run here, but I still see here that there is a debug mule application and I don't have anything there. It says no configurations. If I click on add, XML. Uh, okay, let me stop this so I can see what this is. New XML debugger, workspace folder, home arguments. Hmm, I guess. I guess debug mule configuration. Okay, let's run it now. What's this? Mm -hmm. I'm just clicking on everything. <laughs> okay, it's running again. So, oh, I closed it. Okay, so again, if I access from here, I can see it. If I open incognito, it doesn't work. Okay. If 
fine. Oh, let me just try one more time here. Okay, the same thing. Save. Oh, okay. I have 10 minutes. Being a locally deployed app. Once again. So... Uh, sure, sure, sure. Consider that you must ping a different URL to trigger the execution of locally deployed mule applications. When you want to ping an application that is triggered, there's a typo here, by an HTTP listener, you must use a different URL than localhost. Yeah. Um, uh, run start debugging after your application, open the tab. Type the URL of your web instance, add the proxy path, and then add the port number you configured as a new path. I have that, yes. When pinging that URL, it will build a trigger in flow. Yeah. Ping a locally deployed application using a REST client. Uh... Expand the cookies and select the URL of the, your web IDE instance. So the authentication proxy credentials, basically. And then you can send that through Postman, for example. So I'm guessing if I try to run Postman right now, it will not work. That is so weird. So I will not be able, basically, I will not be able to run this. Okay, what if I deploy? Okay, let's stop this. I'm just trying to see, oh wait, what? How did I end up here? So again, if I do curl, doesn't work. Okay. So let me try to deploy Cloud Hub. Oh. Create a deploy configuration file. Okay. Sure. Uh, sandbox. Oh, I already had this open. Uh, run to manager. Okay, so far it hasn't deployed. This is another application that I have. The application name is already being used. Uh, Martinez. Uh, let's do local Maxine. Deploy. Sandbox. I wonder if the deploy is going to ignore the M units. But if it's going to try to run them, we'll see. Deployed to Cloud Hub successfully. Wow, well, that is quick. That's actually quick. Ah, here you go. Skip M unit tests was set to true. Okay, good to know. Where is it set though? See it in the deploy.json? No. The launch. Um, config mule app runtime default runtime arguments. Where can I see that? In the settings? No. Where can I see that? No, where was it? No, launch, there. Okay, 
let's open it from here where is the launch oh it's in vs code and i cannot see vs code oh why do you make my life so miserable okay let's see um where can i find this config no blah 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 can i just search for this apart from there no i can't i guess um what if it's in the settings okay i'm gonna take out this uh oh so here's my information extensions wait is this still running oh it started well that was quick i don't know if it's quicker than using ngrok that was actually quick so let's try this again save <laughs> damn you api Uh, this sucks. Are you not? Oh, you're not. You're not. Did you start? No, I think it didn't start yet. Well, this is definitely harder <laughs> than using Angrock. That's all right. So I'm still going to have to wait until... I can use it locally, but look at this beautiful theme. Like I can just keep adding themes and that makes it way better. Let me put again the pink one. <laughs> that is so awesome. Oh no, it didn't change it. Why did it not set color scheme? Yes, that is so beautiful. Look at this. Let me open uh, source main mule Battlesnake API. <laughs> that is so beautiful. I love this. I love this theme. I would, I just wish it was purple <laughs> instead of that. But the Spotify team was also cool. Uh, let's do the soft one and then go back to the thing and I can see again my, my flows. This is so cool. But yeah, definitely I try I liked the winter is coming theme way more. Uh, where do I put this again? Set color. Ah, uh, here. Dracula Soft. Yeah. This this one is also cool. But I still like the winter is coming more. Set color theme. This one so nice so anyway you can be like manic and personalize your snippets <laughs> or you can be like me and download a bunch of different themes to see which one is prettier um <laughs> anyway i i think it's so cool where this is going i i can't wait to have this and I'm actually, wait, I'm going to install that. Uh, winter is coming because I really liked it. Uh, here, install. There you go. That's so cool. Way better, way, way better. Yeah, I like this one. I like it. So I discovered something new. I discovered a new thing for VS Code. I'm gonna install the pink one. Wakat pink theme. Yeah. That's so cool. <laughs> 
I love this. I love this so much. Maybe I modify it to be purple instead of pink. Anyway, uh, let me go back to winter is coming. Where are you? There. What was dark blue? Oh, yeah, I like dark blue. Okay. Sweet. Well, that was me trying any point code builder. Basically, what we did was that we cloned the repo. So, oh my God, I have so many things. I didn't even see all of that. I'm going to ignore that. Well, I went to the terminal and I copied, well, cloned the repo into the thing. So if I go here um, and do ls, ls, la, I can see here the mule battlesnake um, repo that I copied from my GitHub account. So basically, if you want to try out some GitHub uh, mule project, you can just push it to GitHub and then clone it here because we cannot use local instances right now, unfortunately. But you can do that. You can kind of download it um, from GitHub into your Docker or ACB machine, and then you can just directly send it to CloudHub. Can I see this now? No, I can't. I don't know why that's so weird. Anyway, you can do that if you want. And if you just want to try it out, you can just do that so you can see all of the different stuff. Just reminder that the um, units are not... Oh, are you working now? No, the um, units are not working yet here. So keep that in mind. And I'm also going to create two new issues. One being to have the ability to move this canvas without having to click on it. Because this is my mouse, but I also have a touchpad and I cannot move it. Like it just does the zoom in, zoom out, but it doesn't move. Like I have to click on it and move it. And it doesn't recognize like... You know in Mac that you can use like two fingers to move around stuff. It doesn't recognize that. So I don't know if it's a VS Code thing. No. For example, like this, like I'm using two fingers with my touchpad and I can go up and down, but I cannot do that here. I guess I can do it with the code. Yeah, but I cannot do it with the canvas, which is annoying. So it would be nice to have that. That was the first one. And the second one is that you should already be signed into your AnyPoint platform account because it's just weird for me that you come from your AnyPoint platform account, but you're not signed in automatically. You have to click on it to sign in, which is just weird. Um, and I guess the other thing should be this one, the debug mule application, but I, I mean, I don't know. I don't know if it should already be there or not. I don't know how it works, but you can just click on add configuration and it will add it. It's for default, but still like there are more clicks to that. <laughs> and like, if you don't read the docs that I, like I was just doing, you will not know that that's how you are supposed to do it. I don't know. And then the other thing is like, where is it? How do I? How did it skip DM units? How did it know to skip DM units? There's a launch one where it says mule runtime arguments, and then there are these things, default arguments, but where are those? Where can I see them? Because maybe I want to run DM units before deploying, I don't know, but it already skipped them by default. So maybe I can change that. I don't know how to change that stuff like that so yeah but the most beautiful thing was finding a beautiful theme so that is awesome that's all i'm gonna do today thank you so much for watching how can i remove my there you go. thank you so much for watching this was super fun and this is not my first time trying acv but kind of the first time actually trying some code so you saw that <laughs> 
that's it um and then the next week we're not gonna have any streams but the next stream will be on tuesday the 14th i don't remember what we're going to do but follow us in twitch.tv slash mulesoft underscore community so you see all of our previous recordings our schedule to see when we're coming live and receive notifications as soon as we come live so you can come and chat with us that's it and thank you so much for coming i really appreciate you and follow us and i will see you on the 14th unfortunately i will not be going to tdx next week but uh, my co-worker akshara will be there so make sure to go and say hi and bring me some swag if you're in canada <laughs> i would love to have more swag for my background and that's it okay hello Thank you so much. How can we wait records? Their recordings are in, well, actually this one, twitch.tv slash mulesoft underscore community. Go there, click on the videos tab and scroll down so you can see all of the videos. Or you can also click on the videos tab and then click on view all videos or something like that. You will be able to see all of our previous videos that we've been doing for years now. <laughs> We started in 2020, didn't we? Or 2021? 2021. Yeah, we started in 2021. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining then. This was so fun. And I will see you on March 14. Have fun at TDX. Bye-bye.